Well, experts say a healthy community is one where people feel they belong. But these days, it's hard to strike up a chat with a stranger because everyone seems to be on their phones all the time. That's why one Victoria woman decided to change things up by starting a new movement. Veronica Cooper explains. People are really losing the ability to talk with strangers because we don't give ourselves the opportunity to do that anymore. Tanya Lee teaches a communication class at St. Michael's University School. Her grade 8 students have never known a world without social media. They're no longer engaging with, with strangers and that they um, never have a bored moment, that they always have this thing in their hand that can entertain them. To help them understand the importance of engagement, she began a social media experiment talking with strangers. So I just sort of made the personal vow that if ever the opportunity presented itself to me where I could engage with my phone or I could engage with the person sitting next to me, I would opt for that human interaction. She shared her experiences on Instagram and in class. How can we use social media in a way that promotes a positive message? The class agreed to try a digital detox weekend. Well, at first I kind of thought, like, this is a really bad idea. I do not want to give up my phone. But as the weekend went on... What was that like? You kind of got used to the fact that your phone wasn't always there. I organized all my drawers and, like, my clothes and stuff. I was doing chores around the house and helping out and stuff, so... And we did. We had, like, a family uh, movie night. Now I go to the field or go to the park and meet up with some more people to play soccer. There are people who do rely on their phone because there's nothing better to do. So I think it was a good idea and that, like, it should be done again. Because while social media has its place, these students have seen it can never replace social interaction. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation, celebrating 80 years of connecting people who care with causes that matter.